Karen from Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit, and you're watching. I forgot everything else. Hmm. Hi, I'm Jory Karen from Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit, and you're watching Heat Sinks with Ben Knowles. Ben Knowles. Ben Knowles. Ben Knowles. Welcome to another edition of Heat Sinks. I am your host, Ben Knowles. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a nice little bitch and complain and rant show. That's what this one's all about. This is my chance to bitch. This is actually my update called the Offensive Neighbors Part D. God, wait till I tell you what they've pulled this time. Also, my uh, YouTube channel of the week is going to be 365 Days, uh, Stephen Byrne, out of Ireland. He's always fun to uh, deal with. My mother was human, my father a tree. I can't wear gloves. Gloves, 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 I can't wear gloves. And my YouTube music of the week is got to be Grovesner and Drive Your Car. But before we get the show started, I want to say a real quick thanks to Jory Karen for my great little open there. From now on, I'll be known to you as Bennels. 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 Ben. No. Bennels. All right, now on to my main topic, which has got to be the return of the offensive neighbors. If you don't know what's going on, click the box right here. We'll go to my first video that I discuss the offensive neighbors. Um, so since the fence has been put up, and since the woman that lived there's brother confronted confronted me, uh, things have gotten even more irritating. Uh, since then, the woman that actually lives there with her two autistic bastards, and that's exactly what they are, bastards, because she doesn't even know who the hell the father is. Big surprise, sounds like an episode of Maury. When it comes to three-year-old Zaria, you are yeah, not. Baby. Would that really surprise you? Wouldn't surprise me one damn bit. Well, she had the nerve to confront me saying that she feels boxed in because of the fence. Well, what she hasn't realized is, one, the fence is fixing to go all the way to the sidewalk. Um, unfortunately, the codes out here make us step it down gradually, almost like a tapered thing, which still no big deal. I want these people out of my yard. Um, the best part was when she blatantly accused me, my roommate, and my guests of burning her dog. She has a very nasty little Rottweiler mix mutt that I've discussed before. His dog barks day and night. is just a horrible dog. Well, uh, the older brother had mentioned that the dog had been burned. His genitals had been burned and this and that and the other. Well, she finally sat there and flat out just said, I know that you or your roommate or somebody in your household burned my dog because you have a barbecue grill and you had lighter fluid. Okay. So, ow, sorry about knocking the camera out there. Let's, let's think about this just for, for a moment, okay? I have a barbecue grill. Okay. Okay. I've got lighter fluid. All right. Does that mean I'm burning your fucking dog through a fence? I don't fucking think so, bitch. This woman has gone too far. Finally, I just told her, you know what? If you believe this, call the police. Oh, I have. Really? Well, out where I live, they take animal cruelty very, very serious. And I can tell you right now that had this actually been reported to the police, we would have been contacted, myself, my roommate, and the other people that frequent my home. And guess what? The police have no record of even a phone call about it. So the bitch lied, probably because either her brother or two, her kids, did this. So that doesn't float with me. And to make things even trashier, now they've put a weight bench in their front yard, I mean right on the property line, and they've done it on purpose. And then my favorite part is the kid. Both of the kids are autistic. You know, I have some sympathy for them, but not much, because the mother does nothing to control them. She's a drunk. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to, I could smell her breath from a mile away, and it's at least 100 proof. Hello, CPS? I would love to call CPS on these people. But sometimes you just shut up. Well, uh, on more than one occasion, the kids have been swinging, and I'm not talking just little twigs or sticks like this. I'm talking, you know, big sticks, you know, metal bars, pipes, 
swing this crap. And I've had to get onto him numerous times because what if one of those goes flying off into one of my windows, my roommate's car, my car? I'm going to be one mad motherfucker. That's all I got to say. So, in a nutshell, you know, this crazy bitch has got to go. If any of y'all have any ideas of how to run this bitch out of town without me being called a white supremacist racist motherfucker, comments down below. I would love to hear what you got to say about these fucked up people. You know what, and it has nothing to do with the fact that they're black. That's just coincidence is all that is. I'm not racist. I hate everybody the same. But these people are insane. And, uh, you know, I, if y'all have got any thoughts on what the hell to do about these stupid people, please, by all means, let me know. And actually, I tell you what, I would like to see a video response from somebody on this topic. So if you've got a great video response, shoot it my way. If I like it, I'm going to link it. You see, I'm currently making travel plans for my cousin's wedding in Australia in January. And I just don't really like weddings. Because the one thing I hate about weddings is the fact that I'm single is rubbed in my face. Still alone there, Stephen? Any girls or boys on the scene? You know the answer. You've read my Facebook. I guess I'll just have to accept my ugly face and just, you know, realize I'm going to be alone forever. And my YouTube channel of the week is 365 Days. Stephen Byrne, very talented 21-year-old uh, guy out of Ireland, of all places. Hit the scene a while back. Uh, really got a lot of uh, notice thanks to uh, Michael Buckley's What the Buck. Totally run into his channel by accident along with Mrs. Betty Bowers, so I mean, sometimes you get a two for. So, he's got a really good sense of humor, a lot of good things to say, and um, the funny thing is, you know, he really does tell it like it is, and I don't care what side of the globe you're on, he's pretty much got it nailed. And then he gets up and sings. Oh God, he always sings. And what is it with dads and them all believing that they sound like Frank Sinatra? My dad's a little like this. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Well, that's what he thinks. Uh, he's really like this. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part So there you go, 365 days. Check them out. And my YouTube song of the week is Grovesner Drive Your Car. This has got to be the absolute best fucking road trip song ever. I was accidentally exposed to them on my trip to Houston, which I will still be doing the special edition of uh, Heat Sinks on uh, my trip to go see Erasure here pretty quick. Uh, this is the trippiest damn song I've ever heard. Um, I don't know a lot about Grovesner. I've tried doing a little bit of research on the, on the uh, interwebs here, and n not much. Other than he's probably not American. It definitely has a very 80s, poppy kind of feel to it. Um, if you don't like this song, listen to it about 14 times. You'll, you'll really get into it uh, pretty darn quick. And I kind of like the, uh, the whole 80s feel of the video. That's about all the time we've got for this week's edition of Heat Sinks. We'll try to make this a little more regular. Next week, sometime, the premiere edition of What the Hell is This coming up. If you need instructions on how to send me stuff, click right here. I'll send you that way. Uh, be sure to do three things for me. Rate. I want to know what you think about the videos. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't just watch the video and not rate it. Come on, guys. Comment. You know. It's right down there in my pants. Just say something about the show. And then, of course, subscribe. If you're not subscribing, why not? I mean, come on, help get my numbers up a little bit. We'll see you all next week. Benels. Benels. Ben. No. Benels.